Hello and welcome back to the Czech Capital here in Prague, Czech Republic. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice of 3X3, back in your ear for what we expect to be a very, very busy day. Two tournaments going down, of course. We'll be wrapping up uh, the Women's Series, fifth stop this year and beginning the third stop on the Men's World Tour. Uh, obviously, as you can see, it's a little bit of an overcast today. We did have uh, some showers entire, and across the entire city all through last night, but it uh, looks like we're going to be good to go. Getting started a little bit uh, later than expected, about 15 minutes behind schedule, but again, we uh, fully expect to be able to get everything in. Again, here just in front of the Prague Castle across the Charles Bridge, here are the weather conditions. As I mentioned, uh, we do have a, an overcast and uh, some more showers could be expected today, so we will adjust uh, if we get to that point. But right now, we're hoping that Mother Nature uh, participates with us for a while. Uh, you know, Mother Nature, that's, she's like your wife. She's going to get the last word. We ain't nothing we can do about it. <laughs> we, we got uh, 15 men's teams that we're going to start with. That's because we have a three-team Battle Royale qualifying draw to get into Group A. Omaha three ball. These dudes are hot. They just uh, won the Netherlands 3x3 Pro League uh, second stop uh, this month. And uh, they're looking like a team that could be very, very dangerous uh, coming into this qualifying draw. Uh, not only them, but Tel Aviv is, is a team to, uh, to look out for as well. And, and the qualifying draw as it relates to the, the two favorites. And those two are going to tip things off to start the day. Again, we're going to be getting... Our first game officially underway here in just a few minutes. Uh, not to forget about Bellefeld, TSVE, also in the qualifying draw. So those will be your three teams uh, that will be trying to make their way into group number A. Number A? Look, it's, it's early. <laughs> group A. <laughs> With Oob, who's, uh, of course, you know all about Oob Huishan. They've won the first two stops on the world tour this year winning the Utsunomiya opener, and then also getting it done in Manila. The Serbian teams are off to a dominant start here in 2022. More on them later. But first up, we got to find out who's going to make the main draw, the 12 teams that will be competing for the prize here in Prague. The ninth stop, the ninth time we've stopped here in Prague. So nine straight years we've, uh, we've seen 3x3 in this incredibly picturesque city. Obviously, we've changed venues. We've, uh, we've held this event in front of the Prague Castle. We've held this event in Wenceslas Square. Uh, now the new location is in front of the Rudolfinum. It's a 19th century cultural venue. We're right uh, near the Vltava River and uh, the Charles Bridge. So another outstanding location. It's, it's hard to find a bad location in, in a city like this. I'm telling you. Uh, but... This is how we're going to get things going. We're going to see if, uh, if Tel Aviv can cool off this hot Omaha three-ball team with more shooters than a movie crew. And got Trigger Trey, one of the most exciting shooters, to, uh, to start playing 3x3. We've seen him dominate in the United States ranks, and now they're going to bring their talents here to the Czech Republic. Not just him. Trey Lansley is, uh, is here as well. Malicious Malik. And there's Trey Bargley right there. That is the squad for three, oh, Omaha three ball. Malik Huluajeki. I said, hey, man, your, Nick, your last name is giving me problems. He said, He's, he said, let me say it slowly for you. <laughs> so I won't be butchering that today. Uh, meantime. Here's Tel Aviv coming out with their four-man squad. Gil Aharon, Benny, Yakin Shushman, Netanel, Netanel, Arzi, and Gur Lavi. As they represent the Israelis coming out in the gray. So we look to be set to go. Our first 10-minute sprint of the day. We're going to have 22 games in total. We're heading to the quarterfinals, the semis and the final in the women's series, and then obviously we'll get back to the Pro Tour. So the fellas will get us started here with the qualifying draw. We'll see three games. Right now we're seeing our two officials, Slobodan and Marek. They'll handle things to start the day. 
And uh, then we'll get into the women's series, wrap that up, and then we'll get to the main draw of the Pro Tour. So don't worry, I, I'll keep you, I'll keep you in line all day long. We got, we got a busy, busy day of 3x3. Uh, we didn't, we didn't show you the rules package, but I will remind you in case you are new to FIBA 3x3. This is a 10-minute sprint, so 10-minute game clocks, 12-second shot clocks, three players on the floor at a time per team, no coaches. Everything outside that arc that you see is worth two points. Everything inside the arc is worth one. Each team is allowed six fouls. The seventh foul puts you in the penalty. It's quick. It's epic. It's Olympic. Just past the uh, one-year anniversary of the uh, Olympic Games, with 3x3 made its debut last year. So when I say it's Olympic, I ain't lying to you. Expecting this one to be uh, be a competitive game. I do think that Omaha three ball is, is very likely considered the favorite because of just the array of talent that these dudes have. Great guard play. And again, these dudes can shoot the lights out. So it's on and popping. Let's get to it. And Omaha three ball will start with the rock. Dylan Travis. He co-stars on this team. His trigger tray gets tripped up. You talk about, uh, you talk about an all-around player. Dylan Travis is definitely that. So Luajeki taking the pass, cruises to the crib and finishes with a lay. That one thrown away. So if you tell Aviv you want to defend that two-point arc, that's easier said than done. As Travis will open up uh, the possession at the top of the key. does a little bit of it all. He's a multi-purpose hooper. He can shoot it. He can drive. He can elevate. He chunks the deuces there. That one is a miss. Out of bounds over to Tel Aviv. Due to the rain, you don't hear what the normal DJ uh, doing this thing. We've had to make some adjustments today because yeah, I mean, it really came down here in Prague all night long. Short uh, jumpers missed. And around comes D Trap. The real deal. He's got the feel from mid range. Pokes that one away. He's claiming that's off of Gray, but Ref Modic is not going to buy it. Take another look. Nice hezzy move. Look at the flick of the wrist. Down low. Tel Aviv go. Nice spin move. Up and in, that goes as Wulabi makes it count. Luajeki whips it down low. Landsman, <laughs> he just planted a man. It's Green Day. 3-1. Landsman is athletic uh, as well. This is the dude that can elevate and put it down. Had a big dunk last season on the Pro Tour. Saw these guys hooping in uh, Mexico City. So not newbies to the uh, 3x3 World Tour. But they've done most of their damage and had most of the success in the United States. I mentioned the recent success in the Netherlands. What a dime. Trick or Trey finishes things off as 4-1. Strong drive to the hoop, but it's the crib. The real deal. Moving to the left. Travis spins free. Over to Landsman. The other tray. Oh, that's a grown man bucket. Four point advantage here early for Omaha. Three ball. Two is short from the corner. Travis out to Landsman. To trigger Trey. Trav pulls it. Stroke was broke. Good pace for Omaha three ball to start this thing off. I 
mentioned that they won that second uh, stop at the Netherlands 3x3 Pro League. They did it with just three players, by the way. They didn't have landsmen. Luwajeki takes the package. He's got mail. Five-point advantage. But uh, they, not only did they do it with just three players, that was a tournament that had the likes of Amsterdam. New York Harlem was there. I believe Antwerp was uh, there as well. Also saw this team recently play in uh, Pristina. Did come out with the result that they had hoped for, obviously. Oh, he got the right flavor on the scoop de doop. I see you, Joaquin. Travis down low. Landsman held up by a foul on the inside. That is number two on Tel Aviv. Point advantage here early. Oh, what a oop in the alley to, to trigger Trey. This dude is knee high to a grasshopper, and they threw it up to him. <laughs> it's, it's seven to three. That's an unconventional alley oop. Let's see what they got on this possession. Little ejected. Is ejected by the rim. This shot top of the key. But he's about that action, boss. I'm talking about a tough, hard-nosed guard that'll get after it. He is that. Try to get his shot in order, though. Right now, defense is the top priority. Uh, come get you some of that. All up in his face. Two-piece from Nathaniel Artsy. Nathaniel will swing it. Another two-piece. So it is a, a double take for Tel Aviv as they go back to back from long range. That one coming from Gil Aharon Benny. So there they go. It's 7-7 just like that. This is after Omaha three ball had jumped out to an early five point lead. And that's how quickly things can change if you shoot that two ball well. A couple looks at uh, some of the highlights so far. Mid-range game on point for D-Trav. There's Landsman using that size underneath. Ain't nobody going to feel sorry for you down there. Beautiful finish from Trigger Trey on the reverse. Speaking of beautiful finishes, look at that. Landsman up through the contact. It's 7-7, though. Little Jackie, they'll get it back. He's on the move, spins, drops it off to trigger Trey. Down low, Malik to the crib. Lost his footing a little bit, but Tel Aviv couldn't make him pay. They missed the bunny. Trigger Trey squeezes it, but misses it. Long rebound to D Trey. The real deal gets it over to trigger Trey. Back over to D Trav. And he's traveling right to the crib for an easy layup. Omaha three ball back out to a two point advantage. Take another look at Dylan Travis. Uncontested layup after the quick move. And Tel Aviv is letting the twos fly. It is 9 9. I believe their last three makes have all been two pieces. Nine. Tel Aviv going to work. Oh, crisscross, applesauce. Nice layup. Gil Ahari Benny doing it again. Looking in the bag so far for Tel Aviv. And that one's packed somehow. He nearly kept it alive. Instead, that ball's going to go over to Gray. And again, only one spot available in the main draw. Pool A with Oob and Osrava waiting. 
Whoever comes out of this three-team qualifying draw will earn that spot. We're going to find out. Nice feed on the inside. You can see Tel Aviv is also exercising uh, their advantage, size advantage on the interior. Good lobby with that last bucket. Looks like Hula Jeki got uh, a little ankle tweak right there. He's going to take a seat for a minute. And as we get back to business, the real deal. Sneaky pass attempt. It's snuffed out, taken away. Here come Tel Aviv. Slick behind the back move. He chunks the deuces again. They said save your money for a rainy day. This is what they was talking about. And I ain't talking about the weather. Two after two after two after two. Gil Aharon Benny getting money like Benji's. It's 13 9. There's Dylan Travis. He's going to answer back with a two piece himself. So now Omaha is back within two. Again, after leading by five early on. Travis gets a glimpse at that iron. He puts it through. 441 to play in this game. Plenty of time left. I think I think it's highly likely that we see somebody get to that uh, 21 point mark in this 10 minute sprint. I don't I don't think it's going to go 10 minutes. Oh, hope and the harm. Big bucket showing the strength up through the contact. Scored over Travis. Ulabi to try to cap off this two point play here. As Tel Aviv is in front for the moment by three. Could be four. We'll see. He's cash money at the charity strike. Landsman. Three on two for now. Oh, three ball nearly threw it away. That one thrown up and missed off the iron. Two from the corner. These dudes are money. They ain't been broke in a minute. Tel Aviv is straight cooking from distance. Luwajeki couldn't elevate high enough to get the scoop to go. So Tel Aviv now out by six and just barely missed that two-piece. But what a shooting display. I was talking about the shooting from uh, Omaha three ball. And it looks like Tel Aviv are taking a page out of their book. So both teams will step aside and get a break. As we're uh, now under four to play. TV timeout. Look back at some of the action in this one. We've had plenty of highlights and incredible finishes at the rim. We've got the three foot one trick or tray. Going up on the alley. Okay, it's not three. But, but you get what I mean. Uh, and obviously the shooting display. We knew rain was in the forecast. We didn't know it was going to be like this underneath the Magic Sky canopy. But Tel Aviv, they brought their firearms. Meantime, that one fired up. Travis couldn't hit it, so they go down low. Barksley holds his own down there. Tel Aviv closing in. All they need is four points for that 21 point mark. Doesn't mean that Omaha three ball is out of it. Down low and up and in. No problem. So it's not just a two point shooting. Again, Tel Aviv is getting it done on the inside. There's, there's uh, Travis. Five-point game to the crib. This dude balling like Wilson. Gil Ahern, Benny. Trey, Trey. That one sent back, and then he's whistled for the foul. That's number four on Omaha three ball. Light showers beginning uh, again here in Prague. As long as the... Uh, as long as the court stays dry, then we're going to be okay. But uh, I'm just keeping you abreast on everything that's happening here with the conditions. 
It has not been ideal uh, here day two of the action in Prague. Day one for the men, but day two in total. You get a check, chance to check out the women's series yesterday. A lot of shocks. You won't see Poland today. You won't see Italy today. You will see teams like the Dusseldorf Zoos, <laughs> who you probably never heard of before. They're playing today. You will see 11-seeded Turkey today. You will see 12-seeded Portugal today. It's unpredictable. How many of y'all predicted this? 19 to 13 after Omaha jumped out to that early lead. It was 6-1 before we knew it. Might have been a six-point lead. On. We'll stick with five. Right? Travis, it's a no. He's going to get another look. They double dared him, and he's going to need to do a double take. Put on the brakes. Couldn't break him off. That loose ball is now in the hands of Gray. Tel Aviv on the attack. All they need is two. Here's Landsman. Behind the back, it's poked away. 235 left in this opening qualifying draw game. Kyle Montgomery, a.k.a. the voice in your ear. Travis Luwajeki up fake, turns around. He's going to put that down, but Omaha still trailing by five. Miss on the inside. They got to tighten up defensively. That's a jump ball situation, which means it'll be awarded to the defense. Omaha three ball will take over. Trey Bardsley. Malik's pass is deflected and taken away. Strong drive, but a miss. Active hands on the inside, maybe too active because they whistle for a foul on the way up. Shoot one. Up steps Joaquin Schusman. And he's going to get the free throw to trickle in. Tools are going to start flying. That one from the corner is missed. Bardsley with the rebound. And Malik, he's going to finish with the lefty lay. Game point here for Tel Aviv. They're on the attack. Why not end it with a two ball right on cue? They have more tools than Twix. And a sweet shooting performance for the Israelis. As they uh, make easy work of Omaha three ball, despite that hot start for them, it was looking like it was going to be a blowout the other way. But that's how quickly things can change in 3x3. That, that two-piece is, is the ultimate decider. Once you start cooking, you can change things, obviously, and they definitely did that. There's a last look at the last two ball from the right wing. So uh, what a start for Tel Aviv. They can keep shooting it like that today. They Not only will they make it to the main draw, they're going to make some noise in the main draw. But uh, continuing that, that type of shooting effort is uh, easier said than done. I'd be I would be surprised. But nonetheless, a great, great performance. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights in this one. Again, that, uh, that hot early start for Omaha three ball. Jumped out to a 6-1 to one lead. With plays like that, beautiful setup in the reverse. From Bardsley, Landsman going to work. Big fella showing some touch through the contact. But after this, this is when the momentum really shifted. First it was going back and forth like a pendulum. Omaha three ball was up, and then they were down. They were up again. 7-2 game at this point, and this is where when it started to rain. Became a full-on monsoon after a while. They made three consecutive twos, did Tel Aviv, before Omaha Free Ball was able to stop the bleeding for a moment. And then uh, Tel Aviv started back where they left off. There's Dylan Travis leaving the defender. 
and finishes with the layup. Two piece. Money. A one point lead at this point for Tel Aviv. Didn't just settle for the two ball. They fed it inside when they felt it necessary, and that worked out well. Behind the back pull up. How good was Gil Ahar and Benny in this game? It was all up in his bag. And then the final shot knocked down the big fella, Gur Lavi. Getting it done. He and Nathaniel Ardzi. Both forces. So we will uh, we will have a a brief entertainment break before we before we get to our, our next qualifying draw game. We will be back in seven minutes. Uh, we certainly hope that y'all don't go anywhere because uh, we got a lot of unfinished business on deck from here in Prague. Uh, in the meantime, you guys uh, check out uh, our video clip, and we'll get back to it here in about seven minutes. World Tour Masters champ, it is Team Jetta as they lift former Ljubljana member and World Tour title holder himself, Alex Kutz, into the air. We want to compete against best teams. I want to tell to Dushan, you know, come back with their Novi side, you know. I want, I want, I want to compete with you. Hey, Dushan, we're ready, we're ready. Come, come, we're ready. Aquila. Oh my goodness, he put him on skates. This ain't the ice capades. Zachwilla giving it to the Martian. Uh oh, yeah, he's gonna take some anchors. Oh my goodness. A little bit of jelly to put on your toast. Roy Poretsky, 19 years old. He got a little extra bounce in his step, don't he? 19 to 18. Jetta's lead. But Anouskis, he's toying with him like Happy Meal. It ain't no playtime. It's over with. <laughs> the comeback kid shooting the kill. And he puts Shake away. Let's see what Lonegar can do. Oh, he's going up top. Whoa. 
One-handed spike. <laughs> he dunked on Voitex back. Check the scout report, kid. We're in the check capital. Oh, there he did it. He did it, Mr. Crossover. <laughs> he rocked him to another dimension. How many times you got to see that? You got to know it's coming. He's like a snake. He lulls you to sleep, and then he strikes. Next thing you know, your ankles is loose. He went higher than the Prague Castle on that finish. LeMay, one hand poke over one, two, three, volunteers. Oh, M.G. Miller between the twigs. He's back. Oh, behind the back. It is just elementary for this dude at this point. That's easy as a layup. Quick takeoff behind the back. I remember when that dunk was a revelation. J.R. Smith did it, and everybody said, oh my God, people going behind the back. This dude is doing this routinely. Oh my goodness, Miller, light work for a dunk master. Have a safe flight. <laughs> a little bit of turbulence on his way up, but Grabo is able to finish with the reverse. Oh my goodness. He just happens to have a bird's eye view. That time he didn't even have a view at the rim. No look, scorpion poke. Miller time ain't playing around, y'all. Miller time's not playing around. Three tens, perfect score for Miller. All right, that was uh, that was Prague last year, uh, in front of the Prague Castle. You saw everything that went down. We got a, our a first time uh, Masters winners uh, last year. Obviously, in Team Jetta getting it done. Who's going to get it done this year? Well, that story is yet to be told. We got a lot of three x three hoop in front of us. We are just getting started. Obviously, we just saw the lights out shooting performance from Tel Aviv. The Israelis now going up against the Germans of Bellevue as we will get uh, introduced to both teams. A little bit uh, different today as you see the teams entering from a different side. Uh, that's because it's less wet. We had a lot of lot of different issues. You're not here normally. You know, 3x3 is a, is a vibe, right? We got a we got our uh, DJ playing playing some dope new music and everything, but his mixer got soaked last night in the rain, so. Uh, Last I heard, things that are electric don't mix too well with water. So uh, he's got a new one on the way, so don't worry. We're going to get back to our normal 3X3 vibe uh, as the day continues. Uh, <laughs> it's being suggested that I start singing. Uh, if, you, if you're a longtime 3X3 fan, then I'm sure you've had your feel of that. But don't worry. Once my vocal cords warm up a little bit, I'm going to start hitting some high notes for y'all. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Stick to the baritone, the very, very white. I got Rachel Rominger over here laughing at me and everything. You're going to see her at some point during the day as well with the mic in her hand on the court. So just y'all look out for her. She's like, stop embarrassing me, Kyle. 
All right. Uh, game number two of the qualifying draw is on deck. Can Tel Aviv keep it going? I, I lost track of how many twos those dudes hit. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they hit seven. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, you got to be shooting pretty dang on good for somebody to lose track of how many twos you make. That ended it with a two. Had a little stretch where they hit three straight. One through four, they were getting it done. But that was then. This is now. This is game number two. They've had a little bit of a break here. So as Bellafell, TSVE, hit the court, you see their squad. Omari Knox, Philip Hecker, Emil Lok, and Yannick Loders. They hit the court first, and we get reintroduced to this Tel Aviv squad. There he is. He was one of the top guns. Gil Aharon Vinny. Joaquin Schusman, Nathaniel Arzi, and last but not least, Gur Lavi. Well, where is he at? Tel Aviv just rocking with, rocking with three. I guess their fourth member disappeared for a moment. He had an argument with the band. There he is. <laughs> he showed up a little bit late. It was tardy. So I need to hand him a pink slip. I need you there for the introductions, all right? Now, have a seat. We'll tell you when you can come in the game. Ten minutes on the clock. Our three-team qualifying draw continues from here in Praha. Probably the most well-preserved medieval city in the world, I would say. To the uh, Rock Castle again. Obviously, that began, began construction in the ninth century. Anyway, to the action we go and to the hole he goes. That's number five, Nathano Arti. No answer from Tulane. So Gil Ahan Vinny going to work from the corner. He's going to feed it down low, throws it in reverse. It's a miss, but persistence pays off as that's put up and in. Joaquin Schusman. 2 0 Tel Aviv. A little bit different start for them as they trail by five early. Against Omaha, three ball. That two ball is a miss from the corner. So here comes Bellafell. Swung over. High arc on the two. Back iron. High rebound goes to Tel Aviv. Here they go. Bullet pass. Up fake. And a bucket on the interior. Schusman getting it done. That ball moving quickly here for Bellafell. Oh, cross. Double cross. Step through. Wild shot. Missed. So they go down to the post office, and instead of going to work in the post, they decide to get it back out to the river. I thought Nathano Arnsi had an opportunity there. Who cares what I think? Nice behind-the-back flip. And there's Arnsi. Finishing. Little pull-up, step back, count that up. Many. Down low they go. Bellafeld, that is, patient on the shot attempt, and it pays off. Couldn't hit him on the cut, so they try to get it going from deep again. That first two was a miss. 4-1, Tel Aviv. Mid-range, J. It's a bucket. Omari Knox knocks it down. And a 4-2 game is the result. Benny doing the work on Knox. Benny. Scissor pass! And that man is not going to come back anytime soon. He just buried him. <laughs> what a dunk. The title artsy. 
We're going to get a look at that again. We're going to have to. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Nathano Artsy. This is a, a work of art. Goes up high, and now he's going to go viral. That was nasty in a virus. 5-2. Uh, pull up. Another bucket. Man, he, this dude is in his bag. Benny. He's been good from the opening check ball. Step through. Another look at the cross and the setup for the poster party. Only one dude's having fun, though. That's Artsy. Six two contest. And uh, I don't know, maybe maybe we were sleeping on Tel Aviv. Maybe I should speak for myself. <laughs> Tel Aviv is out here balling. They look good here. Seven two to start this one. And a, a win here would obviously seal things. There's the big man getting up. And he broke some screws loose on that scale to sports setup. Take another look. He's Throwing it down. That's the second smash of the game for him. Knox is going to pull up and knocks, knocks in the two piece. Eight to three. Eight to, actually, eight to four, I believe. But it should be. Yeah, eight four. But Tel Aviv on top of Bellafell. And we get our first TV timeout. And the action has been uh, fast and furious, high flying. A couple of big dunks from Natano Artsy. And not just dunks, he shows the finesse too. So he got his hands all over this game. He's also had his hands all over the rim. He dusted the fingerprints if you don't believe. Or just take a look back at the highlights, pull up. Benny getting uh, getting in on it too. Nice one-two combo for Tel Aviv. Let's see what else they got up their sleeve. Benny, cross left to right, swings it to the left wing, triggers pull, but the two is missed. Rebound goes to White. Bella Bell trying to climb back in this game. There's a foul underneath. And again, if you're just joining us. Winner of the qualifying draw will head to Pool A. Joining in Ostrava. Ooh, the top overall seed. That one taken away. Give me that. Let's see what they do with the Wilson. Got him out on the island. Iso. Two is missed. Recovered. Artsy this time trying to get the fade to fall. It goes off the iron. Bella fell back on the attack, and that's a foul underneath in the process of the shot. Take another look, and that whistle is going to send Omari. Sorry, not Omari Knox. That would send uh, Yannick Lotters up to the line. Otters misses it. Quick clear, spin baseline. Artsy, get out of my way. That big dude is a big problem.
and uh, nobody able to stay in front of him defensively. He's moving folks around, and dunking on dudes. He's got the skill of Shaquille. I like that. I, I like that to his score. <laughs> All right, still doctoring up that shot clock. Get some duct tape and some Velcro. Get some crazy glue. Let's, we'll get back to it. You can tell you don't want me fixing nothing around your house. That's, that's my answer to everything. Put some duct tape on it. That's <laughs> some crazy glue. So they try to stay warm by getting some shots up, keep that blood circulating. I don't anticipate that it'll be uh, it'll be much longer. And a uh, shout out to our, our local Czech fans who have come uh, come out to check out the action despite the threat of showers and it being a little bit damp today. Still showing up in full force, so. The bleachers are uh, pretty pretty full. Looks like Alexander Rakhov is uh, is over there. We'll see Team Lehman in action once we get to the main draw. Nobody's hotter than they are right now. Lehman winners of three consecutive challengers. They won 15 straight games. Ridiculous. We'll see four of the top five ranked teams in action here in Prague. Once we get to the main draw, of course, and we will crown our third Masters champ here in 2022. Just scratching the surface of what's going to be a record year, 13 stops. Never, never done that before. First time for everything. A year after the Olympic Games. Latvian men took that iconic uh, goal. Russian Olympic Committee with the silver medal and the Serbians taking bronze at the first ever Olympic Games that featured 3x3 on the schedule. And how about uh, the women's competition where we saw the United States women take gold, the Russian Olympic Committee women take silver, and China take bronze. So congratulations again to our Olympic medalists. We will see some Olympians in action today for sure. Just past the one-year anniversary of, uh, of that uh, historic Olympic Games in, in Tokyo just last year. Speaking of history, that is the Prague Castle high up on the hill, right across the Charles Bridge here in Prague. Got the Vitus Cathedral there. A lot of great things to see. Went and took a stroll around the Royal Garden. And as you know, uh, Prague Castle seat of the, the president but for a long time the seat of uh, Roman emperors and bohemian kings of the past see the, the voice and the history teacher the little history that I that I actually know so uh, a few more minutes to get warmed up not a weather delay, but a uh, an equipment issue. Saw a collision with the Skelda Sports Boday shot clock portion. So. Was Artsy the Destroyer? That's a, you know what? That's not a bad nickname. You might stick with that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Natano Artsy. This dude has been wreaking havoc on the rim. And uh, I believe he was the one that actually <laughs> ran into the shot clock. Uh, that's a lot of men. So they'll, they'll, get, uh, they'll try to, again, stay as warm as possible. You can see that uh, Tel Aviv is having a discussion. So they're getting their strategy in order. They've jumped out to an early lead. Already winners. Of course, if they win this one, it's going to be Tel Aviv that, that get that spot in the main draw. That'll make the, the last 
qualifying draw game inconsequential. Won't matter. 2-0 in a three-team field. Obviously, gets it done for you. And they've come out of the breaks fast. Bella felt a little bit on their heels here. We haven't even seen well, Tel Aviv really lighten it up from beyond the two-point arc like we saw them do against Omaha three ball. They've been doing it on the inside and doing it big with Natano Hartsey in particular. So it looks like we got a thumbs up. And that means that we are getting back to it. So everything is uh, starting to get back in order from the looks of it. Am I hearing some music? I am. Yeah. The DJ is back in full effect, and so is the game. Knox. I think not. It is swatted away. What an acrobatic defensive play from Joaquin Schusman. He says, you are not welcome in this house. Go away and don't return. He was whistled for a foul on the play. So. Free throw is good. Two in the corner is not. That one is too long, touches nothing. Out of bounds it goes. So here we go, back to it. Tel Aviv on the attack. With a four point lead, looking for two more. That is too short. Still saved. We've seen a, a different looking Tel Aviv team in terms of their shooting from long range. A little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Our DJ, Alex Matusek. Dropping the, the J and Kanye for us. I'm glad he's back. Shout out to Alex Matusek. And MC Martin uh, Chotas as well. Score pass. Trying to get something going on the drive. Artsy kicks it out. Benny elevates and he's fouled. Beyond that two point arc, he's going to get a couple of attempts from the line. Got to be careful when you close out on, on shooters. Not just to avoid contact, but you can't run underneath them. They got to have a safe landing space. That's how you see ankles get sprung. That one obviously had uh, contact, so easy whistle in the corner. Making it look easy from the stripe so far. The first of two is good money, and the second one, same thing. Six-point advantage for Tel Aviv. That one poked away. Artsy with the quick hands. And a foul on the shot. That'll put Knox on the line to shoot one. Past the midway point. Oh, yeah, definitely uh, contact on the way up. No argument from Biddy. Knox. Cash money at the charity strike. It's a five-point game. Bellafeld have a lot of work to do. And they haven't been able to stop Artsy. He's going back to work. Misses that one. But the rebound stays with Tel Aviv. Benny in his bag. Back down to the post office. Pocket pass from the big man. Oh, man down. 11.32. He couldn't finish it. Take another look at the move, but it was almost a play worth talking about. Almost. 
Try to cap those off. Instead, score stays where it's at. Our second TV timeout will give each team another break. They've had plenty of rest in this one. So they should be nice and fresh heading down the stretch here. And again, Tel Aviv have been a uh, more assertive team offensively. One, two, three, together. Done it with Artsy getting active on the inside and obviously above the rim. He's, he's got some mixtape material so far. And still 352 left. I wouldn't be surprised if he catches another body out here. He's doing some body work down low. 13 to 6. And Artsy with the steal. He lost that one. Benny tracks it down. That two is chunked up and missed with a friendly fire there. And Tel Aviv end up with it again. Here's Benny. He's on the drive. Kicks it to the corner. They got two to shoot. Are they going to get it up in time? They do. It just doesn't go down. High rebound. They go to Bellafeld. And they're going to score on the interior. Nice uh, little shorty there from Philip Hecker. And that one's poked away. Good defense from Emil Lok. We've seen enough of Artsy in this game. Tel Aviv set back up. Trying to work some pick and roll action here. Pull up the jumper. Came too late. Shot clock violation. Knox trying to feed it down low. That ball's deflected. And an easy, breezy finish on the inside. No problem for Joaquin Schuzman. Long rebound leads to a two.
Ellefeld trying to establish that the post game and the passing has just not been there. They're not dead in the water here. Five point difference, as I mentioned in game one, that the, the great decider oftentimes is that two ball. If Bellafell can get hot and see things change quickly, but oh, what nice setup, but Archie wasn't able to finish that one. Fake screen and a slip to the bucket. Foul on the uh, layup attempt. Benny back up to the line. Shoot just one here. Fifth foul on Bellafell. Gil Ahara and Benny. Impressive game so far. You got the curls for the girls, too. <laughs> Six-point game, two ball in a pocket. Down to a four-point contest with under a minute to play. Tel Aviv just trying to hold serve here. up from Knox. Off the miss. They're going to get another look from two range. That one is a miss as well. Here's Artsy. You know what he wants to do. He wants to attack the rim. But he carried it. The same and one. Speed with 3x3. And you can see he definitely uh, Cuffed that one. Turned it back over. That one knuckle balled off the rim. Knox will uh, handle this himself, but he cannot defend in the semicircle after a made bucket, so they're going to get a warning there. 20, we'll call it 23 seconds left. 22.8, if we're going to be exact, down to the 10th. And only a, only a three point lead here for Tel Aviv, but they do have possession. Bellafell have a foul to give. So if they find themselves in too much trouble, they can give that foul. Tel Aviv obviously want to use some, use some clock here. No need to rush into this possession. It's a, it's a two possession game. Benny, stop and go to the hole. Finishes with the scoop. Got to make it a four point contest. That ball is lost. Knox will swing it across court but they are running out of time oh, not a great foul on Benny there that stops the clock and that'll amount to two free throw attempts they could this could be big take another look there so Philip Hecker with a couple of big ones here see if he's able to knock these down they'll have to foul quickly or hope to hope to get a steal and a two attempt Things can escalate quickly. Trust and believe. First one is good. First of two is good. That's the first order of business. It's handling business at the charity strike. And the second of two. Oh, it's too long. And the rebound goes to Tel Aviv. Kicked out. They can't even get it get to him in time to foul. So tell them what they want, Bob. Tel Aviv get a trip to Group A with number one seed Oob and Ostrova. They will be playing in the main draw and a chance to compete for that $40,000 grand prize here in Prague. So the main draw of 12 teams is set. We will have one more qualifying draw game, but again, it will be inconsequential between Omaha Three Ball and Bellafell. They're just uh, playing for pride at this point. Thanks to Tel Aviv going 2-0, getting victories over both those squads. We'll look back at the highlights in this one. Tel Aviv was active from the very beginning. We saw two sides of this team. They shot it lights out against Omaha 3-ball from two range. 
This contest, they did most of their damage on the interior. On the offensive glass, on the dribble drive, creating opportunities like this. Just banged on that man. And tell him Artsy. Nice body of work for him. Not just that smash, yet another nice one. Benny also getting to his spots pretty frequently, whether it was on the drive or the mid-range game. Archie using that size advantage and seeing some defense as well. Stretch Armstrong swat. A little offense uh, to go with it. Joaquin Schusman. Archie making uh, good work on the interior. And again, Bellafell was on their heels from the very beginning. Had a brief delay in this game due to uh, the shot clock being knocked loose. But once we got back to it, Bellafell tried to make a game of it. Knox with a sweet two from the top of the key. And then the two ball from the corner coming courtesy of uh, Emil Lok. But just not nearly enough for Bellafell. This Tel Aviv team is not to be slept on as they get ready to enter the main draw. They could be a team that obviously could make it to day two. It's going to be tough for them to, to beat Ooh, obviously. You never know. But uh, Ostrava, that, that'll, that'll make for a good game. Trust and believe. All right. So in the meantime, we are going to get a chance to uh, take a brief break before we get to our, our last qualifying draw game. And uh, we'll take a look at Oob and how they won it in Utsunomiya and Manila, our first two stops here in 2022. Enjoy. Oob. Krishan N.E. They start 2022 in the win category with a $50,000 bag and a Masters of their choosing. We really proved there that we are the best team in the world in this moment. Uh, after that tournament, we get uh, more confidence and we have motivation to, to stay on the top of the world. So we came here to, to win again. We are here for, uh, I don't know, two weeks and we were doing some scrimmages uh, against the Cebu and we know that it will be a tough game. Oh my goodness. He's in his bag! Man down! He broke his ankles in half! For sure a very good crossover and he's a great player. He's unbelievable talent, great shoot. It was crazy. I mean, they, they played that well because of the crowd and we won, but uh, the crowd was amazing. All people really like that sport and live for basketball. We practiced with them last 10 days with Team Cebu. We know that they are good because we lose a couple times against them as the national team of Serbia on the practice. And Tali always was crazy on the practice, so we just don't let him to shoot, but he was crazy in that game. He scored five twos. I think three or four was very, very difficult, amazing. So it was a very difficult game for us. Like on every tournament, we always have problem with that first game. Strahina Stojacic play injured this tournament. He has a rupture in quadriceps. We talk about before the tournament if he should play or not. But he say, I'm going to play, I don't care. He helped us a lot. I trying to give my best and they helped me to do that. Maybe I not play very well this tournament, but in the end, most important thing is to win the championship. Nemanja Barac do the amazing job in defense, like I'm just happy that I'm not in opposite team to play against him because he's very strong, very good with the legs, very fast. That is the most important thing to me, to help them to win the Masters. Not me to win the Masters, but to help them. A lot of Serbian teams have a talent to score, 
but what is difficult is difficult to play defense and offense in the, the same time and because that I want to give the focus in the defense and how we fix some situation in the, the court. First uh, striking I need to play defense much better and we do, <laughs> we do that. You know our coach Marco Dero was one of the best defensive players in the world last 10 years and we always focus on the defense in the offense we have talent and have a good players who can score but always on start of the game we just focus on the defense and we need to wait Baraj to come to, to, to play offense and because he have a lot of a lot of potential about that I don't have a problem if I don't score any basket to finish game with the zero points but if the guys are telling me that I'm doing a great job, it's enough for me. Our first quarterfinal here in Manila is a thriller. The Beast, cold killer. In my opinion that maybe Branko deserves a little bit more than me MVP award because he scored that most important basket in, in that quarterfinal on 1818, very difficult too. We are taking every shot with confidence and I think uh, that we deserved, we, we started the match better. There it is, that is all, thanks for playing. I know two players from Melbourne, they already play a couple tournaments in 3-3. I saw that they are not in the shape, so I'm surprised that they win against Ulaanbaatar in quarterfinal. Five minutes was a tough game and then they are just stop, they cannot play any more defense, so they are not prepared yet for this kind of tournaments. And they are going to come into what we expect to be a hell of a battle between the two top teams in the game right now. That is Ub and Lima. We practiced together with Team Lima last 10 days and we know how they play. They know the way we play. Yeah, it was a chess game. They were playing on the other side of the court and I was looking at them and they passed to Kojic. He scored one time, scored one time I fouled him for two points. So that is the biggest mistake that I can do. I still have some habits from uh, five on five. It's about details. We make our free shots, they missed uh, and we won. It's Easily, yeah. First Japan, now the Philippines. Same story, different day. Oob is the headline of 3x3 so far here in 2022 as they take the crown here at the Manila Masters. I think we are just a great team. Everyone has their role and we are doing it best we can. They are in Strahinia, they are great scorers. Me and Nemanja are doing uh, different things, but I think uh, we are as a team number one. Our goal is to beat Novi Sad. They win 33 games in a row and we will give our best to be better than them. So Oob is the team to beat. That's a look at some of their body of work from uh, from from last year, and they as they won two Masters, and they have started this year uh, without a loss in terms of the Masters. Again, got it done at the Utanamia opener. Got a Masters of their choosing and fifty thousand dollars, and then they went to Manila and did the same thing with Doctor Strange leading the way. Of course, all time great. Uh, Dejan Majstorovic, saw them take, take a gold medal at the World Cup. And man, who's going to stop them? We're going to find out if anybody can. Maybe Lehman? Who knows? We got the top dogs getting ready to hit the, hit the court in the main draw. That's for later on this Number afternoon, three, but one, some unfinished business here in the qualifying yeah. draw. This game will not matter. Tel Aviv is moving on. This After this, we'll wrap up uh, the women's series. So 
we'll get into the quarterfinal action for the ladies. But again, now, one more qualifying draw game to wrap up here. Omaha three ball and Bellafell, who both fell to Tel Aviv. Number four, and then look. And number six, Yanni Roberts. So out come Bellafeld again in the gray. Yannick Lotters, Emil Lok, Philip Hecker. And my guy Knox. Mari Knox. I think this dude has some real potential. He's a great really creative with the ball in his hand. We won't see any more of his creativity beyond this next 10 minute sprint. Maybe later on this season. Let's get a Omaha three ball an emerging team as well. Even through X3 Pro Tour just hasn't been so kind to them. Two officials, Slobodan uh, Novakovic and Cecilia Tot. They will handle the officiating duties this last qualifying draw action. So we'll start it off with 15 teams. It's down to 12. Neither of these two will be moving on, but they can still give us a show here. So big time players, great shooters, outstanding athletes as well. So here we go. Not having that one as he swats that one out of bounds. Knox will swing it over. And that is a, that's a unique release. Uh, but it does count. And I guess that's all that matters. Lotters was able to get that one to go. Meantime, it's the real deal. Dylan Travis giving us some strength news. Foul on the inside. Omaha three ball jumping out to the early lead. Had they held on to the lead against Tel Aviv, came out of the gates fast, we might be looking at a different result in terms of the main draw. Meantime, it's Bardsley, lefty scoop, finishes that. He's going to have an and one opportunity. We're locked. Had the arms locked like it was walking down the aisle. Barsley, as quick as they come. And a knockdown shooter. He makes easy work at the charity strike. 3 2 game here early. First 45 ticks of this one. That one taken away. Landsman will get it back. Landsman turned away. He's going to stick with it, though. And there's Bardsley. He's on point like a harpoon. Oh, Knox trying to get in his bag. He gets to the rim, but Landsman, man, that's a tough defender on the inside. Six to two. Omaha three ball. That drive comes up empty. Bardsley will come away with it. He's going to get it over to his partner in crime. Travis is hacked on his drive. That'll be the second foul on Bellafelt. Germans and Americans do battle here. In our last qualifying draw game. Detrack in his bag, but this is the mid range. Away. Tough defense for Trigger Trey. Trey to Trey. Back to Travis, and he's fouled again. So Bellafeld having some trouble moving their feet, staying in front of these quick guards. They whistle for a third foul here in the first nearly two minutes of play. Travis decides to reroute, goes from east to west. Trey couldn't land it. It's going to be white ball. Landsman is able to throw it off the break. So 
Barkley will set up shot from the logo. Checks it up, and here we go. Nice ball movement here. Off of the deep end. Barkley could knock it down. Two ball, corner pocket, no, but a foul. That was in the process of the shot. So he no look. Shooting two here. First free throw, not nearly enough sauce on that. See if he can make good on the second opportunity. And no. Empty trip to the strike. So Bellafield not helping their cause. Oh my goodness, he just planted that against the glass. Stays a four point game. Take another look at the defensive play. Going up top and absolutely destroying that one. Neil Lope with some lockdown defense. Bardsley. It's like target practice. Two piece makes it a six point game. Nobody home to defend that layup. So back and forth we go. Two is answered with a one. And pretend like that one didn't happen. Just look. Getting up. And hits the block button. Pull up, Travis. Rebound goes to Barsley. The real deal. Man, halfway down, he's like, man, I can't buy a bucket. Meantime, I'll show you how to do this side. That too is true from Hecker. And Lanceman, the answer's back. Playing above the rim. Take another look at the two ball. Good look from the left wing. And a break into action. Feet in timeout. Two teams with high ceilings and good potential. Both teams. Could not get it done against Tel Aviv. There's the first two that started the action. As Bellavel drew first blood with Lotters getting locked in. Speaking of locked in, Dylan Travis get that one out the bottom of the nets. Some fairly efficient shooting. In the first three and a half minutes of play. TV timeout is over. We get back to work. Travis down low to Landsman and Landsman, he gets swatted. Could turn it into a score in the corner. Barzi wants a screen. Instead, he decides to get it, over, get it over to the real deal. He wants a 15-footer. Comes up shy. Now can Omaha three ball defend. Slow on the closeout. It's a miss. Again, plenty of action in store for you today. There's some action for you up close and personal. A couple of really nice blocks in this game. Hecker says, heck no. Now Hecker on the rebound just, just lost the handle on it. Had himself what looked like it was going to be an easy layup. Instead, it stays 9-5 Omaha three ball. Just under six minutes to play. Ari Knox will start this possession. Tried to cut to the rim, but it's broken up. Leave 3.6 to shoot. Nice bounce pass whipped on the inside. We got the right recipe for a score. So Makes it 9-6. Uh, and fouls on the floor. Yeah. 
Take another look at the setup from Knox and the off-balance score on the interior. Got another push here. Four fouls apiece now as Omaha picks up their fourth to join Bellafell. There's a push on the layup attempt. Take another look. Landsman just a little bit too handsy. So Yannick Lotters. Big fella finds the bottom of the net. And Bellafell find themselves only down by two. And two pieces missed by Travis. The right elbow. Nice move. Runs into some traffic though on the drive. Three ball come away with it. Trying to run the pick and roll here. Bardsley lost it for a moment, but he's able to finish with the scoop. Slow on the closeout, run up, get done up. As Knox puts it through, it's 10 9. Bardsley creates some space with the step back. He doesn't land it, but Landsman does. 11 9. Knox will check out. Hecker on the left side. Step through, up off the glass, missed, strong rebound, recovered. And that is also missed. Hecker, though, tracks it down, swings it up top. Good look, high arc. Swish delicious. No lock. There's Landsby. Landsman. Taking off and rocking the rim. So take another look at Trey Daniel Landsman. He touches the sky and then touches the iron. short on the two release one point contest fall away hook it's a no go here's Landsman again he's got a glimpse of some of that athleticism take another look as he spins baseline they don't want no parts of that you got a man crush on you This is all about pride. It's about what's across the front of your jersey. With no opportunity to get to the main draw. Barkley doing a good job getting to the cup. A little bit slow on the closeout on that possession. Knox got it to go down. Germans try to even things up here with the Americans. Flipped over the attempt at least was made. And that ball is stolen. And these two a baseline shorty. Been up and in by Emil Lowe. Landsman, great position. He's going to elevate. Oh, but he missed the shorty. Another two, this one from the corner. Different result, it's a miss. Cross court pass leads to another two attempt, and that one is splashed. Yannick Lotters. Barsley cannot answer. So Bellafeld is in front by two all of a sudden. Three ball, as Omaha three ball trying to not to run out of gas this time. Barsley even things up at 14 apiece. Knox stepped on the line. So all even here, 14 apiece. 
First to score seven points wins it. Or whoever has the most points at the end of this two minutes and 49 seconds. Your second slow, he's gonna make it count. Trick and Trey, 16 to 14. He's got a birdie, he does not have a bucket. Hands been flew by, but Knox couldn't knock down the layup. In the meantime, it's the real deal. Feeling it like a masseuse. 18-14. Omaha three ball is retaking the lead. A couple of two pieces from Trigger Troy. Dylan Travis getting in on the act as well. And a timeout on the floor. Uh, Omaha three ball playing with, with just three in this one. We have not seen the league. Uh, Halabujeki, because uh, I think he tweaked his ankle in game one. So they have to leave it out up to the twin guns on the outside. Dylan Travis and Trigger Trey. He is one of the more knockdown shooters. You see they both get wet from long range. 18 to 14 is where it is for the moment. Oh, the crib is missed. That's recovery. Stays with Bellafeld. That one's broke. Up fake. Scores over Lansman. Travis, cross, pull up, splash. Five point advantage. Game point for Omaha three ball. Take another look. The real deal. Look at the wrist work and the swish work. All Omaha three ball need is one. That one off the front iron still stays with Gray. Quick move, pull up, mid-range, count that. Travis, tough shot on the interior. Only a buck 20 and counting left in this game. Up top, they go, and they can't connect on the alley-oop. Dylan Travis, he's going to take matters into his own hands. He's fouled. That is number seven on Bella Felt. So Dylan Travis can wrap things up at the free throw line. So it's looking like Omaha three ball will not be heading back to Nebraska without a, without a win. There it is right there. The final shot that will give them a W over Bella Felt, but obviously it was not enough to get them into the main draw. That spot belongs to Tel Aviv as they will be moving on to join group A. That is it. That is all for our qualifying draw. Now we can get to the big business of the main draw, but only after we wrap up the women's series. The yeah, quarterfinals are on the way as we'll turn the show over to the ladies. Of course, we'll give you a look at the highlights from this one and how it played out. Started off with a two-piece. The long-range strike from Yannick Lotters. You know, Omaha three ball, they, they do a little two shooting as well. There's the double dip from Dylan Travis. And then two the hard way from Bargley. Trey Landsman turned away at the door, but he stuck with it. Back out to trigger Trey. He was knocking down shots like happy hour. Good defense on the interior. Against the slap right there. Mill lock. And then Philip Hecker filling it from the uh, from the outside. And then Hecker doing his thing on the defensive end too. Great pass. What was better, the pass or the finish there? But we saw Omaha three ball jump out to that early lead. Then Bellafeld was able to narrow it down, even things up at 14 apiece. Omaha three ball was able to respond emphatically. Trey Landman with a two-handed smash. And another two-piece coming from Lotters from deep range. 
Bellafell was actually up 14 to 12, but that was the uh, tying shot from deep. And from that point, Omaha three ball didn't look back. So while it was a good win to cap off the qualifying draw, it was not a win that would get them into the main draw. But they will get, at least get to enjoy the city of Prague uh, for a couple of days. Tel Aviv, 2-0. Strong team coming out of the qualifying draw representing Israel. We'll see what they bring against some of the best in the world. Again, once we get to that main draw, it's got to start later on this afternoon. I believe at uh, 4 p.m. local time. But, uh, again, we're getting set up for the women's series now. Before we get there, here's a look at uh, the groups that you will see. Oob who have won both of our Masters to start the year. They are the top seed. Osterbud, Tel Aviv, Pool B is keyed by Lehman, winners of three consecutive challengers, 15-game win streak, and a new-looking new squad. We'll introduce you fully later. Dangerous Warsaw team, Belgrade's in the mix. we got Riga, who is nearly back in full strength. they got Edgar Krugens back. Marianne Poulet saw them reach the final in Poitiers. Hamburg, representing Germany. They could be a dangerous team. Pool D with Ulan Batar. Uh, obviously with the sharpshooter Steve Sir, the player coach, is back in action. Washington, D.C., who we saw beat Marion Poulet twice in route to winning that uh, Poitiers Challenger in France earlier this month. And Shake Kubale, Pool D looked at as the uh, pool of death, as it is uh, unpredictable. Got some favorites, I think, in the other groups. I think Lehman and, and Poole are the clear favorites, and A and B and Riga would be the clear favorite in C. But D, your guess is as good as mine. We'll find out. All right, so, again, that is, that's it for the qualifying draw. The World Tour will continue here. 1,600 local time. So that's uh, that's the main draw. So I believe that it, that's 4 p.m. Right? Yeah. Just a little, just a little typo. And uh, we'll have a shootout qualification round. We'll have a shootout final tomorrow. Also the dunk competition. Uh, per usual here in our World Tour Masters, the third stop here in 2022. But uh, we are going to put a button on this opening session, the qualifying draw, and we will get to the women's action up next as we get ready to crown a a, a winner at our fifth stop on the women's series here in 2022. So y'all stick around for that. The ladies' quarterfinals are on deck. Don't go nowhere. 